Hello and welcome to our 15th video. In the last video we managed to fix the problem when we remove one of our objects, for example a coin. It used to get removed for like half a second, but now just the coin that we remove gets removed. And we also managed to animate the player. As you can see when he jumps he's changed the sprite and when he's running he's, it looks like he's doing some kind of animation. So what we're going to do in this video is that we're going to introduce some kind of achievement. So let us get started. We're going to start by creating two new two new variables. One is going to be called private string save achievement score 10,000. And we're going to set that to equal to achievement score 10,000 I'm gonna get up and add another variable called private public static int save achievement score 10,000 are we stepping in Ash, sorry, just a human score. 10,000. I'm going to set that to zero, and that's going to mean that it's false. We haven't gotten the achievement yet. What we're going to do here is that we're going to check to see if uh, we have the achievement. We're going to take achievement score. 10,000 equals to preference dot get int and this was achievement score 10,000 and if we cannot get the variable we're gonna set it to zero which is that we haven't received a variable that we haven't actually cleared the achievement First, get in the same score. Oh, sorry. Save. Achievement score 10,000. There we go. And we're gonna make sure that when we destroy it, we're gonna write down the variable we had and sort of achievement we had. So if we had actually got an achievement, we're gonna make sure that we save it. And this was save achievement score 10,000. And then achievement score 10,000. There we go, and I'm gonna get down to our update method. If score more than or equal to 10,000, we have the score over 10,000. We are going to set achievement score 10,000 to 1. And achievement score 10,000 equal to 0. So if our score is more than 10,000 and we haven't gotten the achievement yet, we're going to set it to 1. So what are we going to do when we actually have set our achievement? We're going to go do down to the under method. And we're going to check if achievement, achievement score 10,000 equals to 0. If we haven't gotten the achievement, canvas.draw text. Achievement Achievement ten thousand score status uh, have not gotten and we're gonna see this exposition O and 
our y position 128. I'm going to use the paint, text paint. Else, if we have got an achievement and we have it to one, have then received received achievement. That's gonna go to our let's run the game activity and check something. No. Let's try and run the game and we shall see. I'm gonna fast forward now a bit until I reach ten thousand score, so bear with me. As you can see now it says achievement, ten thousand score status, have not got them. So we're gonna keep running till we get to ten thousand. So we have received achievement, we're gonna close down the game and see if we can keep our achievement. We're gonna go to endless running game. Achievement 10,000 score status, received achievement. As you can see, it saves our achievements. So everything works as it should. That was all for this video, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel. Your feedback is always welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye.